Hello everyone, my name is Tui Chujus, I'm rocking out the purple shirt today. And this game is the park. I love to be in a dark room. But then you can't see my face. Oh. I am doing this in 4K, by the way. So we have a 4K monitor. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Mr. Stay in the car. Bear. Go and ask information. <clears throat> Can see my reflection. Toot 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 toot. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Cal was born the day black. this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Hmm. All right. Information tickets. What? I'm hallucinating. Must be because my belt's so tight. Hey, Lorraine. Why my pants Lorraine. are so tight? Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Thank you. It's probably at the bottom of that trash can. Callum, where are you going? This way! Whoa, what the heck? Read Flyer. Welcome to Atlantic Park. Psychopathic chipmunk Jedi is going to kill me. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. There's this something way, special mommy. about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. I on can't side, move. The apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to do. Yeah, I know that activate Windows crap is annoying. It's I had no wonder Callum ran My motherboard inside. was not working, so I had to go. I want to leave either. Get a new one. Have a safe journey home. So now it says activate windows. Run! Oh my gosh. Why? Well, there he is, the crazy squirrel guy. He's just laughing. Callum, where are you going? Oh god. Oh god. What happened here? Uh, the lights went off. I'll tell you what. You can catch me. Get your butts butt back here. Get your butter buns back here. You can't catch me. Why am I not running anymore? Okay, there we go. Spooky eyes. Ah. <gasps> Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. Whoa! Floating shoe. The chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk yeah. guy in a suit. 
Chad the chipmunk worse in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Well, as we all say, the Chad. What is this about? Um. Brrr. Okay, you press shift once, you run, press it again, he starts walking again. <laughs> Octotron, House of Holes, Slide Show, Alley, Tunnel of Tales, Ferris Wheel, Roller Coaster, and Boat of Love. Callum, stay where you are! Hello? No! Jump on in! Jump in! Whoa. <laughs> I'm looking around for sharks and pirates. I just made myself jump. Near a great forest, <clears throat> there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all fall and starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel Jesus, it's like getting louder and louder, it sounds like, seems like. To weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. What a mean woman. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Why would they Hansel what? tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Alan, where did you go? Uh oh. I can't look backwards. He snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows gingerbread. were of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble. Nibble, 
nibble, nibble. Ha, 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 ha. Who is fishing at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children lollipops. took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside. The old woman urged, uh -huh. and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Oh. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. I can't. She can't turn around. Why can't I turn around? Oh my god. And put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. Told Gretel, once he's fattened up, once I he's shall fat. feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a sharp Brave and Gretel. And tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alrighty then. What the? Oh, that's when I got off the. Got off with me. Swans, gingerbread, and chocolate. to go Touch me, Mommy. no Hansel and Gretel they used to get your to Callum when the electricity was shut off get your butt back Those here poor children the whole world against them the forest the birds the old witch even their own parents I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Alrighty then. Another accident. This place. Is it? 
Is that blood? Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Park will be opening on time. The governor's book the cut ri Oh my goodness. To cut the ribbon, the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried the customers will come out of simple, simple curiosity. I deducted what was needed from the band whitenings of Archie Henderson. It's fourth astonishing... Wait. False. Force? Force astonishing to think what a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and the cause of this and the taint that still lingers in this place. I would not use, not have make a mistake. I mean, no, I'm done. <laughs> oh, it's a teddy bear. Um. It's a teddy bear. What was true? You come out of hiding. Oh, we're at the Octo something, Octopod, or... This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. Make me dizzy. <laughs> Callum? Where'd you go? The guy Callum? just... snapped. Those poor kids. We're waiting on our turn for our turn to ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving. While well, people took photographs, Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I always wanted to be a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man was carving the picking way at the ice. I just can't read today. And at first, we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or lion. But as more and more ice fell away, we first looked, and there was a, like a human face smiling out of the block of the ice, but the more you look at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportion, something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little faster, like if you were prey and that thing was an ice, was a hunter, but then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something like, right, the guy like, suit, and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos, everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stabbing him, stabbed with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were just dragging them away as fast as we could. Oh my goodness. Callum, stay where you are. Dude. I can't get on while it's moving. Bum 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 dun dun Whoa! Definitely going faster and faster. Oh my god! We're on a spaceship! Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. That guy was really pretty. Wait, 
what the? There's somebody in there? Whoa, dude. That's not cool, man. Well, guys, this is the park. Kind of a cool, creepy little game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, I'm gonna wear your two shoes.